Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video I'm going to be giving you guys 5 tips for you to build that muscle you've always wanted. But before we get into it, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and like this video for more daily fitness content just like this one. But with all that out of the way, let's get into it. So the first tip I have for you all is to rely on high protein and high calorie dense foods. So this includes foods like peanut butter, your nuts, your almonds, walnuts, high protein cereals but low sugar cereals, you don't want to be going over the top with sugar and all the kind of stuff like that. But some of you may have heard of the dirty bulk. This is where you pretty much eat whatever you want, whatever has protein in it, whatever you want, like ice cream, pizzas, all that kind of bad stuff you don't want in your diet. Like maybe if you are so skinny, like you weigh like 10 kilos, then maybe do that. I would recommend eating whatever you want because there is something wrong with your body weight. But for all you like average skinny guys out there, I do not recommend dirty bulking. I do recommend just eating high protein foods, meat, fish, all that kind of stuff. Another thing I want to go over is to implement food slowly. So say you're starting in a 2000 calorie diet, you want to be going up maybe 100 to 200 calories a day. So you want to be starting at 2000 or something like that. It doesn't have to be 2000, it can be 3000 if you really want. And going up 100 calories a day or 200. So 2200, 2300, 2500 and stuff like that. Increasing the calories each day so that increases muscle recovery. You don't really want to go from a 2,000 calorie diet to a 6,000 calorie diet in one day. Surprisingly, you might actually feel hungry more than full or you're going to put on a lot of body fat in a short amount of time. So guys, if you are a skinny guy trying to bulk up, I really do recommend implementing 100 to 200 calories each day but not going over the 5,000 calorie mark. You don't want to be eating too much in a day. You're going to feel, you're going to feel shit, like for real, you're, going to, you're not going to feel good. You're going to feel like crap and you're going to feel really full and you, you are going to put on a lot of body fat. Now, the second tip I have for you all is to do less cardio. But I'm not saying to eliminate cardio altogether. I want you to still do cardio maybe twice a week. Maybe you lift three times a week and you do cardio two times a week. That's personally what I do. Because if you don't do cardio, you are going to build a lot of body fat. But if you're doing it too much, you are actually going to burn muscle when you run, when you walk. But walking is good. You don't want to be running too much. You don't want to be running every day unless you are like this. And then you want to be probably doing cardio every single day. And if you are seriously trying to build muscle, I do recommend leaving cardio to different days to your lift. So say you lift Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I would recommend doing cardio maybe Tuesday, Thursday, or Tuesday, Saturday. But yeah, I do not recommend doing cardio on the same day as you lift. This is because it will... It will slow down the muscle recovery and your muscles won't grow back as strong. But one thing, I wouldn't recommend doing it, say, say you wake up and you do an hour workout. I recommend doing a workout and then sitting on the couch for 12 hours after your workout, just sitting there and doing nothing the rest of the day. Make sure you get out, even just going for a light two kilometer walk or whatever, whatever it is. But yeah, I wouldn't recommend running, I just recommend doing light walking, just it gets the blood flowing into your body and, it, and trust me, that will boost muscle recovery. Now, the third tip out for you all is to keep track of your progress. Now, are you lifting heavier? Are you increasing sets and reps in the gym? Now, one way to keep track of that is to weigh yourself every day or even once a week, that's fine. This is going to let you know what's going wrong and what's going right. Like, are you building muscle? Are you losing weight? If you're trying to lose, if you're trying to build muscle, and you're losing weight, there's definitely something wrong, but don't get too overwhelmed with it because trust me, it's, pre it's a pretty easy fix. You just want to be eating more calories than you burn. Now, if you're a very skinny person or you're a beginner to training, expect to put on a lot of muscle in the first week or even the first month. But on the other hand, if you're an advanced lifter, don't expect to put on a ton of muscle in a week or in a month. This is because it does get harder to put on muscle as you lift more. You're gonna start off and you're gonna put on a lot of muscle, but as you, you know, as you go on, it is going to get harder, so don't, don't, don't think you're doing something wrong because you're probably not. Also, are you lifting more weight in the gym? Are you increasing your reps? Are you increasing your sets? Are you increasing the weight? For example, if you say you're, ben say you're benching 50 kilos, right? Are you increasing the reps by two to five? So say you're doing 10 reps, are you doing 15 reps? Are you doing 12 reps? Or if you do have the equipment to change the weight, are you going from 50 kilos for 10 reps to 55 kilos to 8 reps or 10 reps. Now this tip kind of follows on to the last point I just pointed out, but make sure you're progressive overloading in the gym. So make sure you're increasing your reps, increasing your sets, and increasing your weight. This may be the best way to put on muscle in a short amount of time. It will put extra stress on the muscles. It will put extra stress on the muscles so they grow back stronger 
and they boost the recovery on your rest days, which we'll talk about later. This tip isn't very long because I already talked about it in the last tip, but make sure you are progressive overloading, I'll say it again, weight, reps and sets. You don't, you don't want to be going in the gym and just benching 50 kilos for the next month. You want to be going up every training session, even every, two, every second training session, but make sure you are lifting more weight or even going from 10 reps to 20 reps in a short amount of time. Now the last and probably the most important tip I'm going to give you is to make sure you recover. Firstly, sleep. I know you guys might not, to, might not want to hear this, but sleep is very important. Make sure you're getting this seven to eight hours of sleep every night, and even on your rest days, even getting nine to 10 hours of sleep just to boost that muscle recovery even more. I know you guys might want to stay up late, but trust me, it's either you stay up late and have fun, or you wake up in the morning and your muscles are bigger. Which one will you choose? No, maybe it might, might not go like that. But trust me, you want to be getting enough sleep, you want to be getting enough sleep so your muscles recover faster, and your body overall recovers faster. Now, I also want to talk about rest days, but, if you are looking for a full guide on rest days, make sure you click this video up here to watch my five tips I give to you all to have the perfect rest day. But I'll go over it quick right here. Make sure you're having at least one rest day a week. Some people may need three or four rest days a week, but personally I have two rest days a week. But if I feel like oh, I feel very energized on one of my rest days, I'll only have one. But I always make sure I have one rest day every week. Now the last thing I'm gonna go over is your diet on your rest day. This is not another tip, this is just as part of the recovery process. Now some people like to have a cheat day on their rest day or a cheat day once a week, but I do not personally recommend that. If you are trying to bulk up, I do recommend having at least like maybe one cheat meal a week, not a cheat day. This is because you're gonna put on extra body fat and you're gonna put on a lot of extra body fat from the amount of sugar you're having. But I do recommend a cheat meal just so your cravings don't go over the top and over the roof. I do recommend at least treating yourself to one meal a week with whatever you want. But just don't overload yourself with shitty food because this is going to put on a lot of extra body fat, which we, you do not want. But they're the five tips I gave for you all today. I'm going to go over them again. So make sure you're relying on high protein and high calorie dense foods. You're doing less cardio or leaving cardio to different days in your lifting. Keeping track of your progress. Are you, do you weigh more each week? Um, are you lifting more weight in the gym? And also progressive overloading, which goes on to the last set. set. Are you lifting more weight? Are you increasing your sets? Are you increasing your reps? And the most important one in my opinion is to your rest and recovery. Make sure you're getting your sleep, make sure you're getting your rest days in, and make sure your diet is on point. But the video is over now. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button and leave a like in this video if you enjoyed. And make sure to hit that notification bell for more daily fitness content just like this. But the video is over now, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.